today we're going to take a look at my top five bunker drills. Now these are not technique specific, but they are to enhance your skill and your control from the sand. All right, it doesn't matter how you do it, these are all going to help you. Now before we get going, please like, subscribe. The bigger the audience gets, the more I can do, the more comments there are, the more feedback there is, the more ideas I have for content to help you out with your short games going forwards. Let's get stuck in. Okay, first up we've got flat, uphill, downhill. Okay, we can use the slopes in the bunkers to enhance your ability to get the club to go into the sand in the right kind of place, and importantly, bring it back out the other side. Now an upslope requires you to get the club out of the sand quickly. If it gets stuck into the hill, the ball's gonna come out really slow. A downslope over here means you have to have very good focus on your entry point. You have to control where the club's gonna go into the sand. Then the neutral or the flat obviously combines the both. Let's give it a quick run through. We'll go upslope first and we'll try and work the club up the hill and out to try and get the distance I need on the shot. A little bit too clean, got it out a little bit too fast, but not bad. Okay, downhill, yeah, it's a bit ball below, but it's also tilted towards the hole. The focus here needs to be on getting the club into the sand in a decent spot. Little chunky, so that's a fail, but don't forget, it's about training both sides, it's a drill. This one, got to try and put them both together. See if I can get a proper bunker shot. All right, not bad. Now that ball should always be the best one, right? You can fail at one, fail at the other, but you put the ideas together. This one should be easy. Next up is the tee drill. So I'm gonna put a ball on the tee, I'm gonna have this much tee poking out above the sand, but my goal is to try and strike the tee almost halfway down and see if I can break it. So what we're doing here is learning how to not go too deep into the sand, but also take enough with a little bit of speed. If you go too deep, you're never gonna break it. You probably won't get a very good shot. You strike the right point on the tee with speed, you can crack it. Now, the ball's gonna come out pretty fast. All right, because there's no sand to get in the way. It's gonna be a pretty clean bunker shot, but the ball's not the focus. The focus is the tee. Turned out to be a good bunker shot. Got the tee, but I didn't break it. Right, next drill is how slow can you go? Maybe my favorite bunker drill of all time. The goal here is to see how slow a golf swing you can make and still get the ball all the way to your target. So you have to take a very thin strip of sand. Now, you could just hit the golf ball, right, and play it like a chip. That's not gonna help you bunker play. It has to be a real bunker shot. So what I'm gonna do is set up maybe a little bit taller, a little bit further out. I'm gonna practice and rehearse, taking just a really thin strip of sand. And see just how slowly I can hit this and still get the ball to my target. I guess the answer is pretty slow. Okay, next drill is wrong club. Now, most players will gravitate to a really lofted club. I use a 60, uh, some maybe a 54 and a 56. But if you use the wrong club, this is a nine iron or an eight or a seven, it makes you develop your skill, your feel, your touch, and it makes life with this much, much easier. What it also does is give you potential to hit longer bunker shots without having trying to force your wedge. All right, so let's go nine iron. I'm not gonna tell you so much how to do it, except maybe you might see a few setup changes, maybe a little further away a touch lower, perhaps. Beyond that, I'm giving you no more info. This is a problem solving challenge for you. So, nine iron. See what we can do. Came out a little bit quick, not my best, but you get the idea. Draw number five is shot shaping. Yeah, you heard me right, shot shaping from the sand. Now, if I was to try and draw the ball from the sand, I would need a very particular club path, more in to out, it would be shallower, and I would have the club face working differently through impact, right? If I was to go the opposite and go cut, my swing path would be much more out to in face would be held much more open. They're gonna produce very different feels and different outcomes in the sand. 
All right, but the beauty of this is that you can figure out which way you need to shift to get to neutral. If you go really deep into the sand and you struggle to get speed on the golf ball, you're probably gonna to wanna to go more to a draw bias. If the ball for you comes out really quick all the time, you might wanna steepen things up, go a little bit more cutty. So we're gonna go draw, cut, neutral. Little draw to that flag. So I'm gonna set up for a draw, just like you might do in the full swing. Face relatively square, little close stance. We're gonna go for a little hook. Oh, just caught the rough, it wasn't bad. Okay, we're gonna go cut with this one, a little bit more open. Should we go with this ball here? A little bit of left aim, things are gonna be a little bit steeper. So you can really start to see how different the divots are, much deeper versus much shallower. Now we're gonna try and find neutral. So a pretty stock bunker shot, see if I can control that depth with a nice neutral path. Okay, so figuring out where you need to shift things according to your biases will help you find neutral really quickly and sharpen up your bunker game in no time. That was my top five bunker tips. Leave a comment below, let me know which is your favorite, which was the hardest, and maybe some bunker tips of your own to share with me.